just to give you guys a quick update on the part two of the headline install i'm still working on that video i still have to uh put the headliner in but i removed the seats the center console sun visors handles and so now it's time for me to go to work so i wasn't able to finish that and then i'll have to clean up the interior later on so removing the seats will make it a little bit easier to clean all that garbage underneath the seats so yeah while i still work on this part two video you guys can enjoy this one that i made a few days back and then this video will be coming up next all right guys enjoy Guys, what is going on? Welcome to the channel. Today I'm gonna do a quick little update on the Silverado. I got this thing finally. Speedometer calibrator. And uh, this is, uh, it's funny that this is actually my, I believe it's my maybe fifth one now. I was getting them used on eBay. And every time I get one, it's either locked or for a different truck. And people, the sellers on eBay, would falsely advertise them as brand new or new other open box, etc. But every time I would get it, and it would be locked to a different truck, so I would have to return it, get my money back. One guy even let me uh, keep one. He just said I didn't know it was locked, so go ahead and keep it because it's going to be pretty much paperweight. Uh, let's go ahead and try this. It's uh, the guy said it's used, but it has been unmarried from the other uh, truck so this is probably my fifth attempt trying to make this video so let's give it a shot let's plug it in and hopefully it's not locked and we can calibrate the speedometer because I am getting according to the reading on the dash I'm getting pretty horrible gas mileage I think it was like 11.7 and supposedly when you calibrate the speedometer you get to i think 13s maybe maybe even 14s so but sometimes i drive a little heavy so that's kind of my fault too but 11.7 that's pretty horrible so let's plug this in and see what it tells you to do so we plug it into the port right here and we have matthew here he is uh learning the skill of programming so you're just gonna watch us turn the key on, <laughs> have some time, and we're gonna have some fun, right? Okay, all right, so it says to put the key in the ignition and turn it on, but don't start the vehicle for six seconds, and then press, um, I think it says press, press yes. Don't crank engine, blah, 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 press Y to continue. Here's Y right here, okay. Communicating with vehicle. This programmer is for vehicle. Okay, so what I probably have to do is maybe update the software. All right, so I had to update the software on this, uh, on this tool and we're gonna try it again we're gonna plug it in plug it in to enter programmer mode press yes okay let's press yes update required I did update that Well, I did update it over the internet, so I guess maybe I'll try it again, but it seems like I'm not having luck with this one. All right, I'm gonna go try and update it again.
All right, let's go ahead and try this again. I tried to plug it into my computer and run the update again, and then it asked me to enter my email because I guess there was no update available, but maybe there was, but it wasn't on the system. I have no idea. So I put my email in, and then within a few minutes, I got an email back saying to plug it back into the programmer, to the updater, and then run the update again which I did and it said it's already up to date but let's try it again for the last time maybe it updated magically so I guess let's try it and see what happens alright I got the key in on position so now we have to press yes communicating let's see what we get because I'm getting tired of these silly programmers man come on because I'm getting tired of these things. All right, the VIN is correct. Yes. Checking for trouble codes. No codes. Okay. To enter programmer. All right. Press yes. All right. This is when. This is where I got the problem before. Uh, has been has the tire size been changed from original? Press yes if the tire height. All right, thirty-five. Okay. Tire has been changed from stock, which it has not been. If rear axle. Ratio has not been changed. Press no. Okay. To accept and program, press yes, probably. Okay. Reading in progress. Okay, I guess it look, looks like it's gonna work. Reading. Okay, so 1%, so it's gonna take a while. So let's speed up through this process here's my average mpgs just driving about maybe 70 percent freeway 11.4 uh, sometimes i get 11.7 11.8 uh, depends how heavy i drive and i drive about 75 to 80 sometimes so i do step on it once in a while so I'm wondering uh, what this update will do as far as showing better numbers. This will not technically improve my MPGs. It will just show better numbers on the dash. I'm going to put it down, let it finish, and then I'll continue on. So update has been finished. So now we can turn the key off and press Y. Okay. Okay, now we gotta wait. Press Y to continue. Okay, so I had to put the key in the on position once again. And then press Y. Please wait. Okay, press Y and then unplug. All right, I guess it's all done. So now I'm gonna drive it for about a week and then uh, compare to what I had. I have the same job, so I start at the same time, everything's gonna be the same. And then we'll see uh, if she gets over 12. I'm hoping to get over 13, so we'll see. Bear back in just one second. See you later, big girl. I'll get to you pretty soon. So after driving the truck for a few days, uh, I finally broke 13, 13.6, 13.5 seems, seems to be the average now after I got the speedometer calibrated. So I'm pretty happy with the result. I mean, technically you're not really getting better gas mileage. You just see 
that you think you're getting better gas mileage compared to seeing 11.4, 11 uh, 11 11.5, whatever I was getting uh, before the calibration. But it's just mentally a little bit easier when you uh, go and get the gas, etc. And I was getting something like 240 per tank. Uh, so we'll see what I get after I run the full tank. But I'm guessing probably around 280, maybe 290. On the way back from work, I decided to do a quick little test to see what the truck is actually getting uh, when it's not 105 degrees outside. Right now it's uh, 70 degrees, 71 degrees. And I put the cruise control on 65 and this is what I'm getting right now. I'm running, it's a flat, it's a flat road right now and I'm driving 65 miles per hour and it looks like I'm getting 18 to 19 miles per hour on average and uh, my average miles per gallon are actually starting to rise above 14 now and I'm pretty sure if I continue on uh, driving at 65 on flat it can easily get to uh, 16 even close to 17 but obviously not all roads are flat uh, there's gonna be a few hills here and there going up and down up and down so but looks like driving just on flat right now I'm at jumping at 18 17 and now it's gonna start climbing a little bit so I'm gonna get to probably about 16 15 and 14 but yeah after calibrating the speedometer and um, if you're driving normally and it's not crazy hot the truck does run pretty good and it does get a decent gas mileage even with the lift and 35s so yeah guys thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this video with this little tuner uh calibrator tool and i'll have more videos coming up for the silverado and the f350 and the shed project and hope i'm hoping to finish the shed Maybe this week, wife has two wedding, uh, wife has two weddings happening at the same uh, on the same weekend, so I'm not sure uh, how possible that would be, and she might need some of my help as well. So we'll see how it goes, but I'm hoping to finalize it this week. If she doesn't need me that much, but if she needs some of my help, I'll help out, and then I'll try to finalize it next week. And next week is gonna be crazy hot as well. We're gonna see three to four days above 100, so that'll be uh, that'll be pretty fun. And hopefully by then I'll have my iPhone 8 uh, that's supposed to be coming, I think on Thursday or Friday. So we'll see how that works out in the heat. And uh, it'll be actually interesting to see if I can run both phones at the same, same time and see which one overheats the fastest. I'll put them both in the shade because obviously the sun is going to suck, I'm pretty sure they're both going to overheat uh, fairly quickly, but in the shade it'll be interesting to see how well they both perform against each other. So guys, once again, thanks for watching, subscribe, hit the bell button, if you got any questions or comments let me know, and we'll see you guys in the next one. See ya!